to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to Everybody, thanks for joining us for this week's Maple Springs Kids Zone. What's the difference between a good restaurant and a great restaurant? What's the difference between some place that sells food and some place that sells an experience? You know, I bet you've probably been to a place that makes and sells pretty good pizza. You know, they have really good sauce good toppings. They have all your favorites. My favorite's pepperoni. I wonder what yours is. They have great cheese, which I think is the key to a great pizza. And their crust is really good. All makes for a great pizza. Are you getting hungry yet? I think I'm gonna have to have pizza for dinner tonight because I'm getting pretty hungry. Well, this pizza place makes really great pizza but it's still just a pizza place. I mean, you could eat there time and time again, but it's just a pizza place, that's all. Now, there are places that have more than pizza. I'm not talking about Pizza Hut or your local pizzeria. I'm talking about a place that, has, that makes memories as well. Places like Chuck E. Cheese, for instance. They have a lot more than just pizza, don't they? I mean, they do have pizza. They have your favorite toppings, but they also have video games, basketball, skee-ball, not to mention all those great prizes you can get from the tickets you earn playing games. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese has a lot more than just pizza, don't they? You're probably wondering, why in the world am I even talking about Chuck E. Cheese? Well, Chuck E. Cheese is a pretty good example about one of the reasons we ought to be thankful to God. You know, when God gave us Jesus, He gave us one of the greatest gifts we could ever have. But He didn't stop there. He gave us so much more. He gave us all of the good things that we have. Those are all gifts from God. The things that make us happy, the people in our lives, those are all from God. You know, and if we stop and we think about all of the blessings that God's given us, it will make us want to shout for joy. In the Bible, we learn about a man, King David. And King David was very intentional about thanking God for his blessings. He knew that every good thing he had, every victory he won, came not because he was a great man, but because God had blessed him. 
Let's learn a little bit more about King David. This is David. Hello. David was the second king of Israel. Yeah. He was a great warrior. Oh! He loved God with all of his heart, and he prayed to God often. Hmm. David loved God so much that he wanted to give him a special house to live in. Yeah, that's it. But God told David that it wasn't his plan for David to build this house. Even so, David thanked God for all he had done for him. He praised God for the great God that he is. Hmm. David wrote many psalms, which are prayers and songs to God that are in the Bible. In many of his psalms, David began by thanking and praising God. He thanked God for answering his prayers and giving him victory over his enemies. He thanked God for guiding him and showing him the right path to take. David thanked God for always being with him. Even when David was an old man, he thanked God in front of all the people of Israel for all that he had done. He said to the people, Give praise to the Lord your God. David talked to God his whole life, and this is one reason why God said, I have found a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to. You know, I don't think that I have any kings or future kings watching Kids Zone today, but there are definitely boys and girls who are greatly loved by God and who have been blessed and have been given many things by their Father in Heaven. So let's remember to thank God for His blessings each and every day. Let's be like King David. Let's count our blessings and remember to thank God for what He has given to us and praise Him for how much He loves us. How many pieces of candy are in this container? There's an actual number, but we really don't know what it is. Now we can open it, begin counting the pieces of candy, but then we run into another issue. We begin eating the pieces of candy. Something similar happens when we think about God. When we think about God and His blessings on our life, we shift from what God has done for us to what God, how much God loves us. See, in God's love for us, He sent His Son to die for you and me, to die for our sins. And whenever God sent His Son to die for our sins, He continues to bless us despite that being all God needs to do. So we need to be thankful for what God has done for us. Thank you for a place to stay, food to eat, a place to sleep. And it's easy sometimes to forget to be thankful for God, especially when things are going bad. But be, start simple. Thank God for your friends and family, even if they're the ones that's making you mad, making your day bad. It may not be the easiest thing to do, but do it anyway. See, once you're thankful for, for your friends and family, you can't be mad at them. You're doing two things at once. You're giving the same forgiveness God gave you. So remember, every good and perfect gift comes from God. Hi, boys and girls. All right, we're going to get ready for our, our memory verse. I hope you've been working on it. I hope you've been working on it. Have you? You have? Good. <laughs> it's for, out of First Chronicles 16, 8. It says, Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Okay? First Chronicles 16, 8. All right, let's look at it together. Okay? Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. First Chronicles 16, 8. All right, we can always give God the praise for what he has done. All right, thank you. And keep working on it. God's blessings began long before Jesus came to the earth. God created this whole world for us to enjoy, and he filled it up with some pretty awesome things. The animals, the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the sky, the fish in the sea, beautiful flowers, great foods that we like to enjoy, like pizza. You know, God has given us our family as well, mom, dad, our grandparents. You might not believe this, 
but even your brother and sisters are gifts from God. Your friends. When you have a good friend, that's a blessing from God. Especially those friends that stick with you through everything. You know, God also made you. He created you and gave you the gifts and talents that you have, your abilities. Those are all gifts from God. He gave you your personality, your quirkiness that makes you unique. And he gave you a specific purpose that only you can fulfill. God has given us so many things. When he sent Jesus to die on the cross and pay for our sins, that was the greatest gift of all. But he didn't stop there. He gave us so much more. All of the good things that we have in our life are blessings from God. And he did that just because he loved us. And he wants us to love him in return and to thank him. He loves to hear us tell him thank you. I think it would be a good idea if we would start telling God every day, thank you for something. To make it a habit of waking up every morning and thinking of at least one thing to be thankful for. Maybe it's pizza. Maybe it's someone that you love in your family. Maybe it's something else. But let's start trying to make that a habit something that we do every day, to tell God thank you for something that he's blessed us with. I think that would be a great thing to do. Not just for this time around Thanksgiving, but every day of our lives. Because this I know, we can never run out of things to be thankful for. We have so many blessings from God, so many things he's done for us. So let's make sure that we take time every day to say thank you to God for his blessings. He's given us so much, and we need to take time out of our day to say thank you. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you for the blessings that you load us up with each and every day. We know, God, if we were to stop and try to count our blessings, they would be too many to number. But help us to have thankful hearts. Help us to take time out of our day to tell you thank you for the things that you've given to us for the things that you've done for us. We thank you most of all for giving us Jesus. We thank you that he paid the price for our sins so that we can accept his forgiveness and have eternity with you. We thank you for our families, for our friends, for this world that you created. We thank you so much for your love for us. Help us to do our best to show you how much that we're thankful. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you again for these things. We ask this in your name. Amen. Hi again, everybody. Today, we're going to play a game called Guess the Number. We have a bunch of candy corn here. We're going to have corn for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and what they're going to have to do is guess how many candy corn is in there. And whoever gets it right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Not with the corn, though. All right, are you ready? We chose candy corn because, well, my jokes are corny. There you go. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Ready. All right. Guess that number. No peeking, Alan. No peeking. There's the cheater. Cheater. <laughs> no, that's right. What did you guess? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ladies first, because we're both gentlemen. What was your number? 542. Oh, really, huh? I put 250 because I ate some. <laughs> <laughs> that he did. So we had to subtract. <laughs> the number is... 750 goes to her. Yay! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. You can play this at home. All you need is a bowl and a lot of candy corn. <laughs> grows out in the garden. Uh, this just reminds us that we can count our blessings, and they are many, uh, and we can thank God for each one of them. All right, thank you. We'll see you later. Bye. Have fun playing. <laughs>